Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting another new series. It, this game just dropped today. I think uh, this video will be going out the day after, uh, September 4th. I, I wasn't able to film it till I got off work, but we're starting a new series, as you can see. Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. Um, I didn't really hear about this game until I... Uh, was playing Hogwarts Legacy and I got a notification that's for the Harry Potter fan club that you can get a bonus if you get this game if you connect your fan club. So I went ahead and pre-ordered it. It looks fun. Um, I, I figured there would be something like this where Quidditch was cam canceled in Hogwarts Legacy that there would be a Quidditch game following up and I found that out literally during my playthrough of uh, Hogwarts Legacy so because I was a little late on that one. But let's dive right into it. Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. You better keep that on. You won't get far in Quidditch if you don't even know the basics. Ready to get back to it? Begin chaser training. Oh, Really? Yeah, Each sure. Each team has three chasers. They're the heart of the Quidditch team, if I do say so myself. That ball is called the Quaffle, and a chaser's job is to, well, chase it. When the other team has the Quaffle, our chasers need to get it back at all costs and bring it towards the opponent's goal. And working as one, throwing the Quaffle through any opposing goal scores our team points and brings us that much closer to victory. Guess we're gonna go through uh, training, which is very good. Probably need that. Chaser, tackle opponents and score goals by throwing the ball called the quaffle through the goals. Does it have control Quidditch training? Is fast paced, and you'll often need to change your approach quickly. Sometimes a change in perspective is all you need. As a chaser, your main concern is the quaffle. Have a look for it now. Okay. RB is uh, focus on the quaffle. Quidditch is first and foremost a team game. When you find yourself in an advantageous position, let your team know by calling for a pass. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now that you've got the quaffle, don't forget about the rest of your team. Individual talent will only get you so far. The truly great Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we pass, pass it between your players. Main focus is to score points for your team. The more this you the, score, uh... the closer you get to winning. Get those points by oh, throwing sick. the quaffle through the red goalposts. Always be on the hunt for the quaffle. If an opposing chaser has possession, that can easily be resolved with a swift tackle. Wait, how do I uh, do that swift tackle that you're saying? Let's so get close to him and... Oh, that's sick. Okay. Impressive work so far. You've proven you can score on an empty goal, but they won't always be undefended. Let's see if you can slip one past a keeper. No, I did not. So, gotta get it by them. That's not too hard. That about does oh, it's an achievement. Cases. Okay. Um, Are you feeling ready for a warm-up match? Yeah, I'm ready for a match. Let's go. It's just a warm-up match, so Absolutely. let's go. The pitch is yours to practice everything we went over. Oh, I clicked on the wrong Let me one. Know when you're ready. I clicked on the wrong one. That's my bad. Uh. Nope. Dang it. I guess we're going through this. Is this enemy goal right here? Oh, that is. Nice. Who's the, uh... Oh, that's the... Okay, this is pretty sick. Okay, I like this. 
<laughs> I love like I just hold the drift and get it done. Dude, I oh, okay. I'm really liking this actually. Okay, there's the goal, so we gotta tackle one more opponent and then pass the quaffle. Let's let him get by by me here. Can we just uh, keep passing practice going? Let's just uh, switch around here. Ah, uh, yeah, let's leave. I got. I think I got it down. Character presets. I think for uh, having fan club uh, attached and for owning. Oh, deluxe edition. So we can have that. I think there's also just a preset of Sebastian Salo that I believe I saw for having Hogwarts Legacy. We'll just stick with the pre standard preset. Oh, recruit your next chaser. Okay, I like it. We're just going to go with the Hufflepuff stuff. I like Hufflepuff. Continue. Uh, save and continue. Hufflepuff is the best house. Nobody can this change my mind. Twins, excited to show off our news. It's another spectacular day for Quidditch. Oh, so we got Ginny, Ginny on our team versus Hermione, George, and Molly. Okay. I like Let this. The fun begin. First team to 30 points wins. I feel like I'm going to do this solo the whole time. Respawns in 3, 2, 1. Okay, I missed it. Yes! Keep moving Wait, what the heck? Field. There we go. Oh, Ginny got it. Nice. This is actually... Okay, this is actually kind of fun. So let's get to the middle of the area here. I missed it. I missed it. Uh, just bob and weave they can't know where I'm going if I don't know where I'm going <laughs> this is actually pretty fun holy crap I don't know the what I expected but I like this is over. this has been Ginny Weasley your source for the latest Quidditch news farewell Weasley Cup okay I don't know how much of this game I'm actually going to film it seems like there's a career mode but I just don't know how much I'm actually going to film Uh, let's just go straight to the next You're match. Natural. I honestly didn't think we'd win the very first match, but it was well earned. Is there difficulty modes? Because that was very easy. Shall we challenge them to a rematch? Or are you ready to learn more about Quidditch? Uh, I'm ready to learn more. Let's All get right, right into it. The lesson continues. The Keeper adds a lot of depth to the game. So let's add one now. Oh, oh wait, and I okay. And my brother Ron will be the best person to fly you through this role. Have fun. Let's do it. Oh, so this is the Keeper. I just keep the first person that was on there. Why not? We're gonna go Hufflepuff House again. My my main guy, the first guy that I created, because I actually did start up this game originally. So I had a, a preset guy wearing the legendary Hogwarts Travel School uniform uniform with trouser uh, from the deluxe edition. Everybody else is just gonna wear the uh, fan layered tee. Yeah, I don't need to change them too much. It's just. I don't think their appearance Quidditch changes would be their skill. Without the keeper guarding the goals, 
A good defense can make all the difference in a match. Your team's keeper has one very important job. Stop that quaffle from going through any of your goals. Being a good keeper requires the tactical mind to predict where the quaffle will be shot and the agility to stop it. With their vantage point, a keen keeper inspire and guide their chasers as well. Okay. They sound like a lot of responsibility, but nothing beats the feeling of single-handedly saving a goal. Okay, I'm excited. Keeper, defend your goals, black stout kicks, and boost your teammates' speed. Let's try this. Chasers can play a decent defense, but to properly guard the goals requires... Keepers have their own way of moving. More like a hummingbird than a hippogriff. Give it a try. Okay, this is... This, yeah, I like this. Diving is an important I don't think I'll be keep playing keeper that often. It lets you move quickly and accurately between the goal rings. Okay. Oh, okay, I like it. Dude, that's sick. That's a quick way to reposition. I like that. As a keeper, it's important to know where the quaffle is at all times. Don't forget to keep focus on it when you need to. The keeper's job is simple in theory. Stop the other team from scoring goals. It's trickier in practice. Chasers will try and trick you, so keep a close eye on them and be ready to move. Your team depends on you thinking on your feet. Okay. Okay. Broomstick, this is pretty simple. Oi! Don't doze off back there. You've still got a team to help. From here, you've got the best view of the happenings on the field. Show us your leadership skills and give your team some guidance. Okay, so you can drop rings to boost speed. Oh, okay. I like this. Cool. But can we now, actually get some practice now? That has on your chasers. Go back to chaser. The keeper's kick is an indispensable tool. You can use it to deflect quaffles and bludgers, or you can even give other players a good whack to drive them away. Okay, nice. So I can just kick it away. Let's give it a go. Try and save this next shot on goal by deflecting it with a big kick. Okay, I need to press it. Kind of did it the wrong way. That's about what you need to know as a keeper. Are you ready to play a match with proper defense? Yeah, let's Brilliant. go. With the keepers added to the game, things are about to get a lot more interesting. So what is the final team? Is it going to be five or six? Six on six, I think. This is the Weasley Twins. Excited to show off. Let's hope this match turns out better than the last time we played Quidditch. Speak for yourself. I had a great time, but then again, I am the better athlete. Let the fun begin! This chase makes scoring goals look easy! What does it say? Oh, it wants me to play as the keeper, I guess? Let me get one block here. There's the shot. Nice save. He saved a goal, okay. No one's hogging the quaffle on this team. The visitors steal possession. The chase surpasses. There we go, this is easy. I don't even need to play as the keeper. If you're just very good at chaser, it doesn't seem like it's very much needed. And it's way more fun to be in the action. Oh, I say that, but I feel like we're about to get some action right here. He stole the quaffle. Okay. Good to see a team passing the quaffle around. Wait, am I... Was this the wrong goal? Okay, I think I, I literally went to the wrong goal.
Is this the right goal? And it's in. Okay, it was. I went to the wrong goal and threw it through. <laughs> threw it through my own goal. Okay. That's the end of the match. Perfect timing too. I think the gnomes are back again. This has been Ginny Weasley, previously of the Hollyhead Harpies, and now esteemed Quidditch commentator. Because in uh, in the real Harry Potter, doesn't doesn't Ginny uh, go on to play Quidditch like for real? I might be wrong about that. I don't know my uh, Harry Potter that well. We scored, I scored all of them, obviously, but we're playing against computers on like the easiest difficulty, I bet. So I want to get in that some real matches. Match. Offense and defense are both crucial on the Quidditch pitch. Yep. Now, shall we move to the next lesson? Or are you itching for a rematch? I mean, I won. If I lost, I'd be itching for a rematch, but Brilliant. right now it's on like Let's very move easy. Let's the roles that make Quidditch truly unique. Starting with the beater. Better find someone fearless for the job. Okay. I Ooh. know Fred has been giddy to go over this bit. Or was that George? I, I don't know. You tell me. This is the beater. Just go with what random person we have. Go with the same outfit every time. The the Just the casual outfit. I actually very much like that with the pads. I, it's a common outfit. It's the base one you get from the game but it actually looks very good and some of the ones you can unlock win five matches as a gryffindor that's purchase Ooh, world cup career challenge try wizard school quidditch try wizard schools quidditch cup career challenge jesus that's a tongue twister um let's just stick with the hufflepuff tea i don't want to change it around too much Ah, beaters. You either love them or hate them, depending on which side of the bludger you're on. What are bludgers? They're iron balls that are fast, aggressive, and enchanted to knock players off their brooms. A beater's job is to use a bat to drive those nasty buggers away from your team. Or theirs. What could be better than seeing your opponent set up a perfect play and totally ruining their plans? Oh my god. Jeez. Oh, is there, so there's a baseball game in between Quidditch? <laughs> Launch metal the balls. Isn't wow. To deal with bludgers. For that, you as a beater, your main focus should be on supporting your teammates by disrupting your opponents. And that all starts. Where the heck did it go? Oh, I press Y to summon it. Dude, that's sick. Okay. Drifting isn't just a chaser trick. Beaters can do the same. Often the devastating. So I can aim event. very quickly. Quidditch is an incredibly physical game. Every hit will knock you off balance. Take too many hits, and you'll be tumbling off your broom. Health regenerates. Okay, that's good. Very good. When all else fails, you can just pretend you are the bludgeon and tackle your opponents. That usually does the trick. Okay, jeez. <laughs> I just hit him over the head with... The this right, game is very violent, like... Hit that player with a well-placed bludgeon. Don't worry about hurting them. They volunteered for this. Well, they were probably told to do this. Okay, so it I'm tracks them? Fine. Okay, let's knock them off their broom. Same as last time. Send a bludger their way while they're still off balance. Maybe we should worry about hurting them. Just a little bit, at least. Oh my god. This is a very violent game, wow. Okay. Fred and George would be proud. Now take what you've learned and master it. Knock everyone on the field off their own. Eliminate an imposing player. So I can just tackle them. Let's summon this back to us. Where'd he go? Jeez. Eliminate the keeper. Wow. Jeez, that's a very, that's actually very handy. I 
If I actually have good computers or now people playing with me. Now that you understand what a beta does, are you ready to see them in action? Yeah, let's go. So the only one I unfortunately won't be able to film, I guess, is the chaser practice. Which, I when I started up the game originally to see what it was, I went through it. I didn't realize I wasn't going to be able to film it. But that is literally the same thing you're seeing of like, catch the ball, throw it. That's all you're missing. Then let's play a match this is with literally just the... and beaters in the mix. Watch it. This is just the tutorial anyways, so now ain't really missing much. On the field. Got... Jeez, the whole Weasley family and then Hermione. Where? It squaffles up. Let me uh, score some points first. And now we can go to the beater. Uh, who's gonna get it? There goes the shot. What a shot. Jeez, okay, I don't even need to do anything. His target is down for the count. That's a fumble. The bubble is knocked loose. Okay, so I could take it out the game pretty well just by doing this over and over. Okay, are they gonna the get the score here? The out of the player's hands. The is loose. They get the chaser. Ooh, she's taking some damage. Yeah, keep moving it downfield. There we go. Game over. Okay. This is kind of a weird Rocket League vibe. I'm going to be honest. Match. Perfect timing, too. I think the gnomes are back again. Until next time. Is that it for the tutorial? How much more do we got? So we got Chaser, Keeper, Beater, and then Seekers next. Oh, yeah, because we got the Golden Snitch still. That's some very loud music. Room customizations, that's good. Jeez, give me a second here. Freaking music here is crazy. Let me turn down uh, game music to like 50. There, resume. That's still very loud. Okay. So I think, so we only have, uh, oh wait. So I got scored one goal, caused three fumbles, knocked out a chaser. So we only got secret training left. Nothing like dodging blood just to get your adrenaline going. How did you fare? No broken bones or brooms, right? Should nope. we play another match before we bring the snitch in? Uh, let's just then continue. that means we're ready to learn the last piece of the Quidditch puzzle. The Seekers and the Golden Snitch. So in uh, Harry Potter, these are very hard to even see, not nonetheless catch. I'm not a bad Seeker myself, but I wasn't the youngest Seeker in a century. So I'll let Harry handle this one. Oh, really? Nice. I'm just gonna go with random preset. I don't really care. Doesn't really affect anything, I don't think, so. Everybody knows the Seeker. Their job is to find and catch the elusive Golden Snitch to score big for their team. Easier said than done, as it's the size of a walnut. I suppose they don't call it seeking for nothing. But aside from sharp eyes, you better have sharp reflexes too. Because once you find the snitch, you'll also need to chase it and grab it before the opposing seeker does. If you can stay close to the snitch, anticipate its movements, and dodge a bludger or two, you can actually hold victory in your hand. So I think I heard that they actually... Um lessen the points you get from the the seeker or the golden snitch because 
in in actual Harry Potter, it is such a broken part of the game because it's so hard to catch um, that if you get it, it com completely flips the game. So I think they didn't make it as much as in in actual Harry Potter. I'm speaking of it like as the real world. Seekers are entirely focused on the golden snitch, an elusive golden ball. It's tricky to find and even harder to catch, but gives your team... Usually, you'd need to find the snitch first, but for now, we'll just focus on the fundamentals. You'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with it later. The snitch is famously hard to keep an eye on. Okay, Stay wow. Stay focused to avoid losing track of it. Keeping up with the snitch can be difficult. But oh, so I fly through. Gold rings will let you fly faster for longer. I need to actually... Okay, I, I don't know what is with my controls. I just lose focus there. Seekers need to be quick and agile, making tight turns at a moment's notice. Drifting is an excellent... This time, you'll need to find the snitch yourself. And oh, I see it. Too. You won't be the only one looking for it when we're actually playing. Keep your eyes open for a glint of gold. And listen out for... It's the not a glint of, of gold, my guy. That's pretty bright. Very hard to catch. Let's do our best here to catch it. So you need to get the gold rings, really. You gotta be good at uh, sharp movements. You're almost there. Stay close to the snitch and keep it in your sight. Grab it when you're ready. Oh, nice. Okay, so oh, that's a straight thirty points. Wow, that's kind of insane. And with that, you know everything you need to know to play Quidditch properly. Are you ready for your first real match? I mean, I guess. Let me look it up real quick. How much is the golden snitch worth? In Harry Potter. I want to find this out. In in the books and everything, I think it's worth quite a bit. Sorry, a little boring here. Uh, oh my god, in the Harry Potter series, the Golden Snitch is worth 150 points. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> Which is equivalent to 15 goals. Oh my god. Yeah, they definitely dulled it down because that would just... Everybody would be playing the Seeker at that point because it's just an instant win. If you get it, that's why Harry Potter was... Or Harry was so good because he was a Seeker and... Oh my god, you just win the game like that. Holy crap. Okay, this one is for all the gobstones. We'll be playing with full teams now, so let's not hold back. Let's go. So this is the final match, I believe, before this we get into the real Quiz, games. Your favorite pranksters and Quidditch play. This is Ginny Weasley, co-commentator for this match. Here comes the bludgers. Incredible shot. Let's get back to the center here. First team to a hundred. Wow, they are playing very well. Chase the tie the game. The keeper stops the quaffle. Okay, I got it. Let's not use up all our sprint here first. Play it down. There's two goals. 
Let me uh, go to the. Oh, I can't, oh, the golden snitch is not in yet. Okay. Oh, the white team still oh, nice. possession. Okay, this is a very easy game. Wow. I, don't, I, I really hope it increases difficulty, because right now, three goals to nothing. Okay, I just whiffed that one. And I whiffed that one as well. What's the goal? Nice save. What the heck? What the heck was that? Snitch is on the big the chaser scores a goal. So can I go to the seeker now? There's a snitch, but who will be the first to catch it? No, I'm gonna play this for a little bit, just see what happens. If I can get this, that's game. Freaking game over for a second. There goes the shot. What a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper. That's a knockout by the team's still doing good, so if I can get this. No one's hogging the bottle on this team. And I lost it. It's the shot. This keeper is on fire. Come on, I'm so close. Keep on going here. Yes. Oh, I'm so close. He's moving it downfield. The chaser lines up the shot and it barely misses the hoop. There goes the shot. Nothing's getting past the, the match, match has reached, reached the halfway mark. Come on. The there stick. we go. The nice. Done it. There a player that can rise above the rest and score. Oh, there's an achievement for not getting hit. Ooh, if I can just go right at it right now. I forgot the keeper gives those. Uh... The shot. Oh, really? I got that blocked. And a miss. That was a great pass. You know what we're going to play is the keeper. Where the heck is this dude at? Chaser fumbles. Go to the chaser. Dude, you just freaking blew that right by me. There we go. Two more goals. Let's do this. We're gonna go to you now. Oh, I missed him. He stole the quaffle. We will be the first to find the snitch. The chaser passes. The, the snitch, snitch is revealed. revealed. Wait, am I going on the wrong goal? Yep. Wait, what? Oh, this is the right goal. There goes the shot. Wait, what the heck? You've got this, chaser. Try again. I don't know what that happened there. The home team steals possession. Dang it. The 
There's the pass. And just one there we go. Nice. I'm very much liking this. Holy crap. So even if they get the golden snitch, there's no way to come back at this point. Oh, I almost got him. I think they're close to the... Yep, snitch. they got it. He they got the golden snitch, but I'm, I'm too far gone at this point. Trouble. I'm too far gone at this point. Let's just go for the final goal here. The oh. steals possession. The visitors Get it right possession. back. No time to slack off. There's just 30 seconds left. What a shot. There we go. Game Great over. Work. Either that's the final whistle, or Mom's found the flubber worm in the toilet. This is Ginny Weasley, signing off. That's the finish of the Weasley Burrow Cup. There we go, that's just the tutorial now. I really don't know how much of this game I'm going to film, like I said, because... There's a... It seems to be a pretty big career mode, so... So what is next? Oh, we proceed to ceremony. Okay, let's see this. So does uh, Ginny stay on our team, or does she leave? Now that was Quidditch. The speed, the teamwork, the danger. It's all so thrilling. Okay. A resounding victory. I don't think any of them saw that coming. You've really earned our illustrious Garden Cup. So we're getting into the actual career mode now? We found some spare brooms lying around if you wanted them. Gave them a quick dusting and everything. They may not look like much right now, but given some time, I'm sure you'll be able to unlock their true potential. Okay. We've got my team. New brooms awaits. Oh, this is the deluxe edition. Oh, that's sick. Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff looks the best, like always. What's new? Pre-ordering. I uh, got the Firebolt. And then Legacy for uh, purchasing Hogwarts Legacy. Obviously, I'm going to go with the Storm Rider for the Deluxe Edition. Preview upgrade. Okay, so that's... Uh, I need Moonstones for that. Is any... Ooh, actually, the Firebolt's already better. What the heck? I thought it would be this better. Oh, Agility's better on the Storm Rider. Speed is better on the Legacy. And then Firebolt, higher speed. Okay. So Agility's better on the Storm Rider. I'm going to stick with that. Why not? Let's go. Performance. Brooms. We're obviously going with this. No, wrong one. Going with this. Hufflepuff. Everybody's getting that Hufflepuff. Everybody in my team is a Hufflepuff. We're not playing this game of like, ah, oh, Ravenclaw. Nope, you're a Hufflepuff. You're all Hufflepuffs. Oh, it looks like it's already on there. Okay, so we can start a career, right? What's the season look like? Oh, okay. So you can get gear as you go. Insignia on your back. I think I already just have a Hufflepuff logo on my back as my current insignia. Check out the market real quick. I got, I think, 2,000 just from uh, pre-ordering the game. So you can get some of these bundles. I'm not going to spend money on it. Uh, what's in the vaults? What is that? I don't know what those are. Flying keys. You can get other players. Oh, Heroes of Hogwarts. That's what it is. I'm not going to spend anything on this. Oh, that's victory celebrations. Let's get rid of all these. Referee helmets. Go back to career. So 
so I can, I guess, play in the next game. I think this is what we're going to call it for now. Uh, I guess in the next part, we're going to just go dive right into whatever career is available with play. I don't know what is under season here, or career. Oh, X, update, that's what. Already selected, no, no that's just the emblem. Because we have Ancient Magic with Hogwarts Legacy, and I just went the, uh... Okay. Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. It's... How much of this game I play is really gonna be up to you guys. Uh, so make sure you, uh... Hit me up down below. If you guys really enjoy this, like I have so far. It's freaking really fun, actually. It, I, I decided to pre-order it because it was like... $39 for the Deluxe Edition, I think. I was like, why not? It, it might just be fun to play. I've been playing a lot of intense games here recently. Why not just have some fun? Sports game. I was almost thinking about doing this with the... Uh, that football game that came out recently. God, I can't think of the name of it. It's not Madden. The college game. I forgot. I really forgot the name of it. I'm whiffing right now. But how much of this game I play is up to you guys. So make sure to let me know down below if you want to see a lot of it. Because I will make time for it. Can't film all the time because I still have a day job, but hopefully one day I'll be able to. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.